Hi guys, Dr. Linda Kramer. Thank you so much for watching me today. Okay, today is about, is Jesus really in heaven? Okay, first thing I'm going to do today is talk about my own personal experience of when I died and what I saw up there. Then I'm also going to incorporate the 10,000 plus near-death experiences that I've researched over the past 20 years. So is Jesus in heaven? The answer is yes. And I'm basing that opinion not on what I saw. Because if you've read my book, Five Years in Heaven, I openly say I went to heaven for five years when I died. I didn't see Jesus. I didn't see Muhammad. I didn't see Buddha. I didn't see Krishna. I didn't see Mother Superior, Mother Teresa, any of the popes. I didn't see any saints. Huh. So how can I say then that they're there if I didn't see them or experience them? Because I say it like this analogy. I go down to the beach today and I'm standing on the sand looking out at the ocean. Am I going to see a whale? But I'm at the water. I'm at the ocean. I can stand in the ocean up to my knees. But am I seeing a whale? I can put on a snorkel and I can go down under the water and look around. But do I see a whale? Probably not. But I know they live in the ocean. But I was in the ocean. Why didn't I see a whale? See what I'm talking about? Just because... I believe that they're there doesn't mean that I had to see them there in all the time that I was there okay second point here that I want to point out to today so the first one was do I believe that they were there yes secondly I say to people stop being so ignorant ignorant is when we don't know all the information now we live in an age of um, technology with the internet there is thousands and millions different reports out there now of what people have truly experienced with their NDEs so we can't go by just those religious philosophies of padres priests fathers whatever you want to call them because generally these are people and we've got to stay honest here guys these are generally people who grew up in some sort of religion because it was their family's ideal and then they go into that business because it's their belief of you know how many muslims are muslim because their parents are muslim how many catholics are catholics because their parents were catholic see what i'm talking about so that's what happens with all these people mainly 98% of people who go into religions are based on their beliefs of when they were a child. So it's a limited belief that we've acquired as a core belief when we are children. Core beliefs are those things that are instilled in us that we will believe no matter what. And generally we obtain our core beliefs from the age of two till we're about six or eight years old. Okay, so that's where we obtain all our core beliefs of who we are as an adult based on who we were and the information presented to us that we believed as a child. So all these priests, padres, etc. out there who go into these callings of becoming a minister or a reverend, I'm a reverend, okay? But I base my beliefs on what I personally believe, not what I've been instilled with by my parents or grandparents or family. And it's also what I believe through the research I've acquired since my own NDE, right? So Jesus, do I believe is there? Yes. So that's number one. Number two, we've got to get past those limited ignorant belief systems that are instilled to us by people who have never experienced heaven themselves. You look at any priest, any nun, padre, father, reverend, whatever you want to call them, 
not many of them have had an NDE. They're basing their religious outlooks, which they now preach to others, based on what they have been told by others. They didn't experience it for themselves. How do you know the temperature of cold water unless you put your hand into that water and experience the temperature change? Okay, that's what I'm talking about here. Okay, I'm not saying that every priest, etc. out there is a bad thing. We all need them because they do amazing work. But it is only one theory and that's where we've got to get past this ignorance. It is one theory amongst the trillions of theories out there because I'm not ever going to say I had it right. I've never had it right. But I'm presenting theories to make you think. Don't be ignorant just because the Pope says you've got to do this. The Ten Commandments say that you must do this. The Quran or the Kabbalah say you must do this if you want to enter the country of God or the being of God or the place of God, heaven. So it's when we come up to our own philosophies, guys. Don't rely on the truths of others you've got to find those truths within you so was Jesus in heaven I don't know but then I go to number three I know for a fact that every single living thing that has a consciousness because everything has a consciousness even my computer mouse has a consciousness believe it or not it's all a living thing it was made from something that was alive so therefore every single consciousness is an awareness which is energy heaven is energy which means my computer mouse when these particles no longer give out their energy force or their awareness or their consciousness guess where those particles all go to heaven they return to the energetic plane that we can't see on this planet which we call heaven pardon me so jesus muhammad buddha krishna all those pardon me do i believe that they're in heaven absolutely because science proves it so i have to follow the science that every living particle is made up of energy therefore jesus is in heaven my cat who i had when i was a teenager he's now passed over he's gone to heaven everything returns to that energetic place or plane but what about ghosts well they ultimately go there too okay so I hope that this has given you some sort of information today about why I didn't see Jesus there. Heaven is enormous, by the way. I only walked around to what I saw. But think of it this way. This is what I say to people. Imagine a road. Some people say, oh, wow, I went so far, I went down through this forest and I went over a bridge. But is that the end of the road? That road continues into a big city and then it goes into the desert and then it goes down past a river. Some people may get down to that river and say, wow, I'm so much further than you on that road. But that road doesn't end there either. How far is that road? And we all experience that road differently. Some people get scared in the darkness. Some people are happy in the darkness. It's all our perception. So I didn't perceive God or Jesus. I didn't see any angels in heaven. I think I've seen enough of them while I'm live, right? But the thing that I want to go to today is just because you've been brought up that that is definitive. Question and ask yourself within what you believe rather than what somebody else has taught you to believe. Hope that helps today and I'll talk to you all soon. Bye.